Hi everyone, this is Nasreen. Today I am going to demonstrate about the dam and various other structures related to it. So here you can see this is the upstream end of the dam where the water is to be stored and certain heights of the dam are also given here. Certain heights and in between you can see the barrier here. This barrier is nothing but the dam. So in between here from this point to this point that is gravity dam and at the edge you can see the embankment that is earthen dam. That is the earthen dam. Earthen dam is constructed to the sideways and here you can see the water is stored in three stages that is dead storage useful storage and surplus storage dead storage is not never used here the dead storage is just the silty waste water which is settled to the downstream side downward side of the dam so which cannot be used for various purposes so above the dead storage the water stores in the dam that is useful storage which is flowed to the dam through these gates here you can see the gap between this that is three spillway gates here we are having one two three three spillway gates in that gap the gates are to be arranged and that is the downpour of the dam so below that you can see the bucket shape that is which uh, somewhat curved shape of the dam beneath the crust and to the downwards you can see that is a hydraulic wall that is hydraulic jump is formed there through the uh, when the water sheet touches that wall and hydraulic jump is formed there to the aside here you can see one more spillway type that is the silty water which is stored here in the dead storage can be taken out through this whole gap here you are seeing that is a silty water sluice gate you call it sluice gate so now the earthen dam the earthen dam is single purpose dam only which stores the water at one side the water cannot be overflowed through the dam okay that is earthen dam so here on the gravity dam you can see the upwards the gap is formed here that is roadway and this side upstream side you can see the water which is stored here can be taken from this and diverted through the canal in the canal where i'm standing here this is the canal the water which is stored here can also be flown through this earthen dam sorry gravity dam and also the water can be flowed here through this canal through these gaps to the canal so the canal now is running again the canal is having a wing here wing wall because this wall diverts the waste sluice water that is waste water from the canal water so now let's see the canal up to what it is extended here you can see canal drop canal drop means a stage where the crust of the wall or crest of the ground level is dropped there at certain stage okay in between you can see the wall and which can also be closed through two gates here there is uh, no provision of gates so the water may flow by some downpour here and flowing downwards like this we are at the downstream side so next again it is aligned right ways and uh, now you can see here aqueduct aqueduct means a structure where above the uh, where at the top of the uh, wall or ground level can be used as a bridge whereas the water runs through the downward side okay the upward side can be used as a bridge where the water is run downward side of the activate aqueduct and now the water again crossing the aqueduct flows downward side and now the water which is in the main canal this we call actually as main canal the water in the main canal gets diverted through this diversion canal there is a diversion gap there so which can be lifted here through this 
gate and the water gets poured from there to the downstream side okay so here the water again which is remains flows downward and we are having a siphon aqueduct siphon aqueduct means the water which is in the main canal flows above the wall like this and from the below crust of the wall again a gap is formed there through which the drainage water flows okay so the pure canal water is flowing upward side and the waste drainage water flows downward side the drainage water which here from here joins to the aqueduct diversion canal water okay next again flowing the again the water is flown through this canal and here we are having again one more dimension diversion canal actually the diversion canal does the work uh, like uh, in the main canal the discharge per meter cube is more when compared to the uh, diversional canal discharge now here we are having a canal regulator where we regulate the water through this vertical lift gates you can see here vertical lift gates between this pier okay now this is pier and sides we are having abutments and it be between we will have gates the gates are lifted then the water flows through this and the water gets again joined into the canal finally the water flowing through the canal and certain downward slopes falls directly into the drainage pit here that is the drainage pit yeah so finally we are today in jain to anandpur university i'm here to receive few of my few of my certificates original so here you can see the low cost housing just a small tent house constructed above the tree and bridge construction there and curing tanks there and all that and they, that is civil department so it's time to leave jain to anandpur university so i thought of taking the video of this small model which is very very interesting to me i really thank the students who made this actually i teach this subject and i really love this subject that is water resources engineering and design and drawing of irrigation structures so me nazir will be meeting you in next video see you soon bye